What's up guys, Well and Customs here and today we're going to take a look at the World of Nintendo Link figure and here's the packaging right here if you want to see how it looks like really quickly. Now this is not a easy figure to find to be honest. I have been looking for it for a while, stumbled upon it randomly at a Kmart and just had to buy it right away. Looks pretty cool. Um, some pretty cool other figures in the back right there like the Donkey Kong which is pretty huge and uh, maybe I might get that but back to the figure. Itself. So here's Link in his, all of his glory. He looks pretty cool, very detailed for a nice uh, small 4 inch figure. It looks pretty nice, great paint job on it and everything. The details on his whole outfit looks pretty nice as well. Um, we'll get into accessories first. First off, he comes with his sword right here and also the holder for it, which is really nicely detailed as well. Let's take a look at that really quickly. It's pretty cool. Nice sculpting job all over it. The paint drop, the paint work, work on it is not that bad. It's pretty plain, but the sculpting is really nice. And also the sword as well. For a nice kind of a bluish look to it. And it fits in pretty well, just like that. And you pick it onto the back over here, just like that. And looking at Link himself, man, he is a nice looking figure. The paintwork on his eyes look really good. The hair looks nice, the sculpting, the costume itself, and uh, the, everything else on there looks pretty nicely detailed. All around the figure itself, the chainmail underneath the armor, uh, underneath the clothing. And it's a plain figure, but very nicely done for a 4 inch figure. Now these World of Nintendo figures come with a nice mystery box, mystery item, which is pretty nice. So for this one, is his shield actually, which is really, really nicely detailed and pretty nice looking. Great sculpt job on it, everything you can see it's raised, the uh, different designs on it, the paintwork over there is nice. Here's the back over here. Now I don't know about anyone else, but with the shield I have a lot of trouble getting his hand through there to get onto, uh, get through the whole arm. Now you can see that the shield is meant for his left arm because over here is a strap and this is the handle, but it could barely get through that first ridge right there, so I don't even want to force it right now. Well, there you go, actually. But getting to the second one is kind of annoying. But you can see right there, it looks pretty nice on him. The sword itself is not that hard at all to get onto his hand. It fits in pretty nicely and easily. It's like that. And from that, you can really see how cool he looks. Just like that. And m remember, this is a nice 4-inch stock figure, not like a crazy... You know, fifty dollar one. This is a nice looking four inch figure for like ten bucks, and uh, I definitely am really impressed at how nice it looks. Getting into articulation really quickly is a ball joint ahead, but it's more like a swivel. It goes left and right, and goes up and down just barely, but it's more like a rocker. His shoulders on the hinge joints are rotates. So they go up, down, in and out, pretty good. His elbows over here on hinge joints are rotate as well, so they go up and down and left and right for the bicep, pretty much rotation. Over here he has a swivel over there at the elbow as well and also he has a swivel and a hinge joint at the wrist which is pretty nice. Now getting to the midsection over here he doesn't, I'm not really sure if it's a ball joint or not but it does swivel but it doesn't go up and down that much at all so it might be, just be a swivel. Uh, going down to the lower body right here he doesn't have any waist articulation but he does has this. Um, he, ha he does have T-jointed hips though, so that's pretty nice. So I go forward, back a little bit, and in and out to the side. One joint at the knee, swivel at the boots, and also a swivel at the ankles with a rocker and a hinge. So that's pretty nice articulation there. So you, you can still definitely get him into nice uh, poses, pretty much, because the legs are pretty nice, actually. <clears throat> and also, the... The clothing over here was kind of restricting the legs over there, so if you look really closely, I went with an uh, X-Acto knife, and I just slit a little cut going up the side in the middle, um, just like that, both sides, and that way it does actually, does not really hinder the articulation anymore, and it's a lot better. Size comparisons, here is Link with some of the other figures in different lines and sizes. As you can see, he fits in pretty well with the Marvel Universe and Star Wars 4-inch figures. However, he should be a little bit smaller because, you know, he's like a teenager or younger than that. But other than that, he still fits in pretty nicely. I'm not the biggest Zelda or Link fan, to be honest, but, you know, I think just the mere fact that he's kind of hard to find 
or you know, he's kind of rare that I just had to get him when I saw him in person. And I still think it's pretty cool. I played the game a little bit when I was younger, but you know, wasn't that into it. But seeing this guy in person and you know, playing around with him for a little bit, it, it is pretty cool, I have to admit. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to wildandcustoms.com. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and peace.